This is Lesson 9-2 about arithmetic sequences. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define what an arithmetic sequence is and look at a sequence and be able to identify whether or not it is arithmetic. And then once you have an arithmetic sequence, you should be able to write a, an explicit formula for it and a recursive formula for it. Okay, first of all, what is a sequence? A sequence is an ordered list of numbers. So I have two sequences listed here. What makes them sequences is that they have order to them. Um, each of them has a different pattern in the sequence, but they each have a particular order that the numbers go in. That's what makes them a sequence. So each number in the sequence is called a term. So if we look at this bottom list of numbers, we have five terms here. The first term would be a sub 1. That represents first term. And our first term is 1. The second term is 3. The third term is 6, etc. And that's how you identify which term in the sequence you're talking about. Once you have a sequence, then what you would want to do is write a formula for it. And there are two types of formulas, the explicit and the recursive formula. In the explicit formula, you would have a formula that looks something like this, where you're looking for a certain term in the sequence, and to calculate that, you just plug that term number in. So if we wanted to find the 11th term in the sequence, we would just plug 11 in for n. So a sub 11 would be 2 times 11 squared plus 1. So 11 squared is 121 times 2 is 242, plus 1 is 243. The explicit formula is very good for finding any particular term in the sequence immediately. The recursive formula, though, is different because, uh, for one thing, it looks like this, and it has two parts to it. Your first part gives you a starting point, and so this just says the fourth term in the sequence is 3. The second part tells you how to get additional terms in the sequence from any term that you know. So since our fourth term is 3, um, the second part of the formula says if you want the fifth term, a sub 5, you take the fourth term, a sub 5 minus 1 is the fourth term, and you subtract 4 from it. So a sub 5 would be 3, which was the fourth term, minus 4, which is negative 1. So the next term is negative 1. If I wanted to know the third term, then instead of subtracting 4, I would add 4, and the second term would be 11, and the first term would be 15. So the only way to find the first term is to go through all the terms from the one you one you know until you get to the one you want. So we know that a sequence is an ordered list of numbers. There are many kinds of sequences. They're not all arithmetic. So an arithmetic sequence is a sequence where the difference between consecutive terms is a constant. And that constant difference is called a common difference. So in example A here, the difference between these two terms is 3. And the difference here is 3 and 3 and 3. Since it's 3 every time, that means this one is arithmetic. In the example B here, the difference between these two, 4 minus 1 is 3, 5 minus 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, 16 minus 9 is 7. And so this is not a common difference, so this one is not arithmetic. These are your general forms for the recursive and the explicit definitions or formulas. You should write down both of these two definitions, and we will use them in the next video to write our own definitions.